Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would um, make a video on a review of 2016 basically, so yeah. So I'm going to be answering some questions and I wrote them all down because, you know, I had got no cool camera. But anyways, let's get on with this already. So number one, if you can look back on a memory from, the, from last year and relive it, what would it be? Um... I would say those simple moments like with a friend or something or someone like that where it just made me happy where I was able to talk to them really easily. Um, like I had to go to a play this year for a test grade in the term and so I tried to go on Sunday and the Sunday of the, the first few days and I was like accidentally late but honestly I think it was trying to save me from something, I don't know, because on Tuesday, that's when I finally went, um, it was actually really fun, because there was this girl that was from my class that was there, and we, like, sat together and talked. I should talk to her more often, though. I feel kind of bad, I feel like I didn't hear her. But, yeah, um, I really, I thought that was really nice, so, yeah. Second question, what, what is New Year's resolution you accomplished from last year? Um, maybe, like, losing weight. Even though at the beginning of the year, I had to put on, be put on the fat pills, you know? But I think I did a good job at going back to somewhat skinny. Mm. Uh, three. Three words to describe last year. Um, uneventful. Different. Interesting. Because I didn't do anything last year, but I did learn a lot. Uh, well, 2016. Uh, for something, what is something you're looking forward to this coming year? Um, I would say... Hmm, oh, right. My birthday. Because then I'll turn 16, and then I can get a job, and then I can look like a pimp all the time, then I can buy my own car. If anyone can hook me up, I really want a, a Mazda RX-8 2004. Like, I saw one on Craigslist, and I was just like... I need that in my life, so that's the reason why I want to get a job. And, yeah. Uh, what did last year teach you? Um, it taught me to, like, actually, like, not run away from my problems, because, like, the, I co I've been, like, pretending that they don't exist for the past couple of years, and this year has taught me that I shouldn't do that and actually try to get what I want, you know? Wait, did I answer? Okay. So yeah, I thought I should actually, like, solve my problems and stuff, Z's. Uh, six. What was your most worn clothing item of this year? I would say that red sweater that I wear a lot. Uh, I used to, but I lost it ever since I moved. Um, yeah, the red sweater, if it's in my, what I got for my birthday video, I'm wearing it, and also these shoes, because when I'm not wearing the shoes I go to school with, then I'm always wearing those, so yeah. Mm, seven, what are you hoping more of this year? I would say love, uh, friends, and stranger things, because that shows uh, seven. What are you hoping? Wait, oh shit, sorry. Eight. Best book you read this year? Um, I would say The Ever After. I don't know the author, but it was a really good book because it really did open my eyes. And, you know, I like those books that really make you think and stuff, and like, I don't know, makes you believe in magic and shit. Um, what is my New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution would be to uh, not get so mad about things, not going my way, and just try to find a different way of doing it. Instead of like, you know, be like, eh, I'm, I'll just, I won't get too mad about it, I'll just try to find a different strategy to get what I want, instead of just complaining all the time. You know? So yeah, that's basically it. I'm sorry that I kind of just spaced out in a couple of the questions, because I'm just you know, take some time to appreciate my makeup. I put effort into this, and 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if you can hear the banging in the background, and have a good day. Bye.